The other thing that was going on with Buffy, and a couple of other shows we'll talk about, is that we're taking vampires who were the other and the scary and the bad, and we're making them sexy and hot. <laughs> Which is a female, right, perspective. But then we have to ask ourselves, is that good or is that bad? Is that good because in a way when you make the men the objectified sexual object, are you taking power away from them and therefore giving that power to the women? Hmm? That's a question. Because you can't deny David Boreanaz was hot. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. He's still hot, I know. Through Buffy, through Bones, and through SEAL Team. That man just... But I think it's a great credit to this actor. We have to recognize he could manage to be deeply, deeply masculine while not being the most important person in the story. He could be the supportive man beside her, and that made him all the more man. And that's a different way to define what manhood is. And that's, I think, a really important thing we're seeing in some newer literature. So that, I think, is fascinating.